Hello everyone and welcome to Wine Tastic Wednesdays with yours truly. This week's cookie flavor is shortbread and we are pairing it with a lovely Prosecco. Now for those of you that don't know, some champagnes and Proseccos do come in smaller bottles as you see here. I found this one at Target for our lovely price of I think it was $5.99. It looks super delicious as does any Prosecco I like. I do like Proseccos. They also make for great mocktails. So if you're looking for a wine chiller or a wine cooler to make a mixture, this is the wine you want to mix like drinks with. So um, commonly what I've done is I'll take some Prosecco and cranberry juice, mix it together in a nice glass, and boom, a perfect cocktail, wine cocktail. It's so delicious. However, we are trying this wine on its own without anything in it. So let's get right to the tasting. Now, the fun fact about the smaller ones here is there's no cork, it just twists right off. So this is perfect for us. And I have showed this because as always, chill your wines, white wines that is. We're gonna pour a little bit in here. Oh, this looks fantastic. Oh, I love it. Now, I had to look at the flavor notes of this particular Prosecco because all Proseccos and wines, of course, are different. And this does not tell me what's in it on the back. It's very small print, FYI, we need the smaller bottles. Uh, yeah, so be careful of that. Uh, so this, however, is a lot, is very citrusy. I'm gonna assume lemons are in here because I taste a lot of lemon in my Proseccos. So typically that's what I get when I have Prosecco. Uh, but let's give it a try and I'll give you some flavor notes that I get. Mm, okay. Ooh, okay. It's a fruity smell for sure. It's a very dry, it's a dry or white. So if you're looking for, if you think it's gonna be a sweet wine, it's not sweet guys, it's a dry white. Mm. Okay, it's like a green apple in there. Something green is in there. Yeah, definitely tastes the green apple, I believe in. Very citrusy, so I think there's, there's also some lemon for sure in there. Yeah, a lot of citrusy fruits in there. And for those that don't know, uh, citrusy, more acidic and uh, drier white wines are very well paired with um, seafood as well. But let's go ahead and open up this lovely box of cookies and give it a shot and taste the difference uh, between a cookie and the wine. Because usually when you um, have a bite to eat plus a bit of the wine, you get more of a smoother taste. Um, as you know from last week's video, having the, I think it was Pinot Noir we did, yeah, and the, uh, what was last week's cookie? I can't remember last week's cookie. Oh, I think it was a peanut butter patties. Uh, you definitely get the flavor, uh, more smoother flavor after the cookie. So these are obviously the generic shortbreads. These are a classic in any Girl Scout cookie table. So whenever you see Girl Scouts, you always know shortbreads are always there. They never disappoint. Mmm, that's so good. Ah, uh, yes. That's it. That's the wine. This is the wine you pair with this. Definitely a Prosecco. This is the, called La Marca, is that how you say it? La Marca, La Marca Prosecco. This does come in a bigger bottle. However, for the, for the purpose of this video and the review, I figure I would go with a smaller bottle as I'm not gonna drink a lot of Prosecco. Um, but yeah, no, this is a solid good wine, guys. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, you can definitely use this as a wine mixer. So having like, if you have, if you like sparkling ice, you know those sparkling ice drinks, the orange mango and this pair super well. I've done this before. It's so good. Mmm. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. As a good wine. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for just an afternoon snack and a little bit of wine, I say go for the smaller bottle of Prosecco because this small bottle here is about two glasses full. Uh, so if it's, just, if it's you and a friend or something and you want to go through a little bit of cookies or whatever, I say go for the little, the little tiny bottle of La Marca and um, some shortbread. It's really good. This is a fabulous brand. Now, of course, if you're having a bigger get together, not that you would during a pandemic, but if you're having at least four or five people over for an afternoon wine and cookie evening, um, I would get the bigger bottle of this, obviously. But 
if it's just you and a friend, you know, a little small bottle is fine. You know, you get two, two, two and a half glasses maybe out of this and that's all you need for a good evening, right? Um, yeah, I definitely love this wine. It has such a great flavor palette to it. Uh, I love the citrusy notes I'm getting, the apple. Definitely tasted the green apple. That was the first thing I noticed off that. So if that's not in there, I'm confused because I'm getting green apple flavorings in this. So, but yeah, guys, that's my wine pairing for the week. So, um, a solid shortbread and a, and a Prosecco, good to go. Um, and also a great pairing with seafood as well, if you guys didn't know that. Um, and there are some Asian dishes that pair well with this as well, like Pad Thai maybe, or a spicy dish. You could also go with this as well. Um, but there you guys go. Um, how do I rate this wine? Well, it's my first Prosecco we've reviewed on this channel. Um, it's my third bottle I've tasted. Um, <laughs> I don't remember the brand I had prior to this. I went to a wedding and someone was serving Prosecco and I'm like, oh, I'll give it a shot. And it was really good. It was a high end, I guess, brand because I couldn't pronounce it. So I'm like, all right, it's an Italian Prosecco. I couldn't pronounce the brand, so it had to have been good, but it was good. So this is like really good. Um, I'm gonna give it a solid eight, you know? Prosecco is good to go. I love Prosecco. Um, so yeah, there's my review. Um, hope you guys liked this lovely video. Um, if you did, please hit subscribe and like, um, cause I love subscribers and I love likers cause you guys are awesome. Um, and if you wanna see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see this pop up in your notifications, hit the bell button as well. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, or anything related to this channel, questions or whatever, leave a comment down below. I will respond in a timely manner. And um, that about wraps it up, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and you have an awesome Wine-tastic Wednesday. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.